Yeah, well, allopathy you know, has been called a xenobiotic medicine. It's not just natural because there are many natural color compounds that are very poisonous. You eat certain plants and you'll die. They're natural. Nature has made them. The term natural doesn't apply. It has to be compound with which the body is familiar. <coughs> and, and that includes amino acids, sugars, vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, enzymes. These are the things which are normally present in the body. We have about 50,000 chemicals in our bodies, and these are natural. And if you look at the whole vast field of medicine, the only <coughs> the only medication that are, are successful in ever treating anyone successfully are these natural things. They're hormones like insulin, thyroid, the corticosteroids, they are used for treatment, vitamins, minerals, but the synthetics, the things like Vioxx and Celebrex and all these, and the antidepressants and the antipsychotics, they are not naturally present in the body. And therefore the body doesn't like them, and therefore there's a major problem when you take them. Could you maybe just give us a brief statement on the fact that since it's a synthetic molecule, that um, we can never really know what all the side effects will be because the, the body, we can't determine exactly what all the, uh, all the effects will be. Well, happen. I want to again define the word synthetic. I'm not against synthetic. I'm a chemist. I have a PhD in biochemistry. Synthetic is okay. Synthetic vitamin C is just as good as the natural vitamin C. In fact, the only kind you can buy is synthetic. You cannot buy natural vitamin C. It would cost you too much. So whether the body makes it or whether we make it, it's okay as long as it's made pure. There is one disadvantage of synthetic because there might be trace amounts left of the chemicals which are used in making it. That's one of the disadvantages. So instead of saying synthetic, we want to talk about compounds which the body can make or which the body can tolerate and compounds that the body cannot make or cannot tolerate. As a rule, a, a compound that the body cannot tolerate will kill you. These are the poisons. The compounds that are, that are being used today therapeutically have some similarity to natural compounds or else the body couldn't even tolerate them. But they're dangerous because they interfere in the natural processes that goes on within the cells of the body. And uh, I have what I call Hopper's rule, <coughs> which is that no xenobiotic, xenobiotic, no unnatural molecule will ever be found to treat successfully any disease. And that's based upon Linus Pauling's work.